Okay, so now let's take this a little bit further. Um, if you look at a previous lecture, you'll see that we've already started this discussion with reviewing binomial probability distributions and how we can work with it using the explicit formula or we can get calculations using um, uh, the TI calculator. Um, and so we were able to do an example with that. So now what I want to do is a few more examples. Let's take this and save it here all right so let's do a few more examples so um, let's say that we um, we have a, a question where we want to know Let's say that we're going to have a couple is going to have exactly five kids, and we'll stick with this probability of having a girl being 0 0.52. And what we want to know is um, what's the probability? that from those five kids, um, what's the probability given that they're going to have exactly five kids? Um, that out of those five kids, they will have exactly three girls. Right, one way of rewriting that entire s sentence again is just to say there is a random event that's occurring what's, and we'll use x for the general random event and we want to know what's the probability of that random event taking a certain value. Um, in this case we're looking at that random event being a three. So what's the probability of um, that over multiple trials um, we end up counting exactly three girls. Um, so um, let's just use some of the functions in our calculator to, to help us. So um, number of successes we're interested in is three, the number of trials is five, probability of having a girl is 0 0.52 and if we plug that into a calculator we get binome PDF plug in the values of the 5, the 0.52 and then the 3 um, if you plug that into your TI you should get a value that's uh, I think it should be 0.299 zero four um, so let me do that just um, one time uh, I'm going to plug in the 5.52 and the point three so if I go second entry to recall the previous entry and change the number of trials that we had looked at previously with ten it was a 10, let's replace that with a 5, let's delete that and delete, put in a 5, let's see what that value is, it's um, 0.3239, and which one were we looking, 5, 5.2, so let me make a change, a correction here, so the probability is not 0.299, but it's actually the 0 0.32396. Now, let's look at um, the next question is, what's the probability um, of having 
exactly two girls given that you're going to have five kids right now we're looking at two successes and the probability of having a girl stays the same so we're going to use the same formula by known PDF and it's going to be a 5 and a point five two. but now instead of the 3 we're interested in 2 that value should be point two nine nine zero four. Um, so that is the probability that given we have five kids of, of having exactly two girls. Now I can ask this question, C, um, what's the probability of having um, exactly two or three girls. Um, and so let's rewrite it like this. The probability that that random event is a two or three is going to be, we can use the addition, simple addition rule um, of having um, two or three will be the sum of those two. And so we can get those values, 0.299. Um, all right, that's the one we figured out before, 0 0.29904 uh, plus the 0 0.32396. And that's going to give you a 0.623. Um, so it's about 62.3% chance of having exactly two or exactly three girls. So let's do one more thing. I can ask what's the probability of having um, two or fewer girls. So what's the probability of that random event being two or fewer? So as soon as we have an inequality, we're generally referring to a range of values. So two or fewer means we want to know what the probability is of having either out of my um, five kids, what's the probability um, of having either no girls or one girl or two. And so we already have these two values. But we also need um, this one right here. And so we can get that uh, just by substituting in a zero into our previous calculation. And so that's going to give us this series of 0 0.02548 plus 0 0.01302 because um, we still have to get that one and then we can use our previously calculated 0 0.029904 so these two are the new calculations um, but that should be pretty straightforward to plug into using the previous formulas. And what you would find is that when you get the sum of those, it's 0 0.4625, um, or about 46.3% if we round off to one decimal. So the problem, if you have five kids, the probability of having three or fewer girls would be the 46.3%. Um, so notice that whenever we have this inequality, we're going to have to get a list of probabilities. We're going to have to get a sum. A couple of ways, there are a couple of ways of doing that. If I use binom PDF like I just did, I'd have to do um, those three calculations with it. But binom PDF will also, if I indicate the number of trials, if I use my 0.52, and if I just simply don't specify the number of successes. Um, I'll end up getting um, every possibility 
So I'll get the probability of having either 0 or 1 girl or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. He'll give me all of those if I don't specify um, how many successes I'm interested in. And so if you want the entire list of values for all of the trials, then just leave off um, this value here. Just leave off the number of successes that you're, um, just don't specify the number of successes that you might be interested in. So if I go back to the previous calculation, so second entry, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and delete. I won't specify the number of successes, but what you're going to see is that he'll give me a list of the number of successes. Um, this arrow tells you that there are more, so if I hit the right cursor, it'll list all of them. Notice that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a number of significant digits. I'm going to change the mode. Um, let's drop down so that I'm only showing three decimal, maybe one, two, let's say three decimal places. And then second quit to get out of this, second quit. And then I'm going to do the calculation again. And notice that it shows me fewer decimal places and I can see more values. Um, since I have six values, remember it goes from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3, 4, and 5. Those are six different possible outcomes of having girls, um, either 0 girls, 1. Right? There are six possible outcomes, even though I'm only having five kids. Um, but there are six possibilities. I could have no girls, or I could have 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Um, it would be easier to actually show this inside of the list, one of these lists. So what I'll do is clear out these lists here. Hopefully those are emptied with an enter. Oops. Go to yep, so it's looking for a particular list. So I'll say clear list and tell it to clear list one. Hopefully that gets emptied out now. Um, so let's go into, there it is, it's emptied out. So I'm able to clear that list. Now, if I recall my entry um, where I generated a list of probabilities, um, let's hit it, hit enter again, there it is. Watch this. If I go ahead and um, run this, but now as I run it, I go down here to the bottom left and I hit the store. See that right arrow that appears? And I'm going to say store it into list one, and those values should show up here. And so I've stored it into list one, and after a brief delay, it will show up here. Let me see if I can make this larger by going into stat edit. So here are the list of probabilities. Um, so let's copy that and bring that over here. So those values are going to be consistent with um, the values that we've previously calculated. Um, so if I look at the probability of having exactly three girls, we ended up with a 0.32396. Um, and so this is the probability of having x equals zero girls, 
one girl, two girl, three, four, and five. Those are the six possibilities. Um, the probability of having exactly three girls, we determined it was 0.324, and we have that. The probability of having exactly two girls is 0.299. So our calculator can generate all of those possibilities, and then we could therefore get this sum more easily. So what we've seen is an example of how to use this um, uh, user calculator to determine the probability of exactly some number of events, some number of successes, right? Given some number of trials, probability of having getting some number of successes. And then we also learned number two, how to use the calculator to generate ev the probability for every um, possible outcome, given that we might have five trials, what are the outcomes? Um, and those outcomes were shown here, zero girls, one girl, two, three, four, and five.